Are you going to go to jail because of a speeding ticket? The short answer is almost always no. I mean, it's just not that likely for somebody to go to jail because of a speeding ticket. This is Chicago. They have far more serious crimes and far more important reasons to put people in jail. But it is possible. So the longer answer is, I don't know. We have to figure it out. That's why you're required to go to court. There is no predetermined outcome to an aggravated or criminal speeding ticket. And in court, anything can happen. I mean, you may have a prosecutor that's out to get you. You may have a judge who had a bad breakfast and is just looking to put someone in jail. I mean, anything is possible in court. But really the biggest factors are your driving record. I have seen people with horrible records where they get ticket after ticket after ticket. And that person is just more likely to go to jail. It doesn't mean you will, but that person is going to be treated less favorably than somebody with a good driving record. And finally, it's the speed. The speed really matters on things like this. I mean, I've represented people going 167 miles an hour. There are some crazy speeding tickets out there. And obviously, that person is far more likely to have a bad outcome and maybe even jail than somebody who's going a slower or more reasonable speed. The last thing I want to mention is there's a judge here in Cook County. It doesn't happen so much anymore, but there was a judge here in Cook County that would put people in jail if they were going 100 or more or if they were going twice the speed limit, so say 80 and a 40. Those were his criteria, and he was putting people in jail for one night, revoking their bond actually, so they didn't even have to plead guilty or be found guilty. He would revoke their bond, and they would spend one night in jail in order to learn a lesson. Now, I don't want to scare you. That, that's a practice that I think has sort of stopped or subsided, but the point of me telling you that story is that a lot can happen in court. And that's why you wanna make sure that you have good counsel. You have good representation who knows the ropes, knows the judges, knows the prosecutors, and knows how to handle these tickets to get you the best outcome possible. I hope that makes you feel better. And I hope that makes you get some sleep at night because you probably, almost certainly, do not have to worry about jail time with a ticket like this. It is possible, but in practice, it just doesn't happen that often. If you want to dive deeper into this and talk about your specific situation, we're here to listen and help. Thanks.